Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about comments in vv.net. Now, here is a sample code that I have on my vv.net. How do I write comments? There are multiple ways. The old way was to write something like this rem remark and then I can say this program is for adding two numbers. This is one way of writing comment. But the mostly used way to write comment is not by remark, just using a apostrophe. I'm going to use a single apostrophe and this is how you write it. This program is for adding two numbers. If you would like to write multiple comments, for example, here I would like to write a comment. I would say these are the variables to hold values entered by user. So I'm writing a comment like this. You can also write a comment something like this. For example, this is to hold the second value. Now, when you write a comment, what happens? This line after ap apostrophe, this is something will be ignored during runtime. For example, if I run this program and I'm going to let's say type 20 plus 30 and I'm going to hit on sum, it is giving 50. So you can see there's no impact to the program when you write this way. If you do not use the apostrophe, you can see it will give an error. Do you see? This line is started giving error. Let me do a control G and get it back. This is one way. Let's say you would like to, there is another way I will show you. For example, I'm going to highlight this line by keeping the mouse cursor here in, in this space. And then let me stop the program first. Let me highlight this. And then there is a button here. You would find a button here in the uh, main screen. There's a button here which would say comment out the selected lines using control K control C uncomment the selected lines using control K control U so this is how for example if I hit on this button it will work or else you can also use the if you want to do undo you can do that you can also use control K or control C to even do that using your keyboard control C or control K you can try that so these are the ways let's say I don't I, I want to remove this undo okay this is how you do it for example during your programming many times let's say i'm not i don't want to use a specific variable okay for example just delete this line for example i don't want to use this variable just for debugging purpose let's say i don't want to use this variable so what i will do i'll simply keep the mouse cursor in this line and then I'm going to comment it. So that way what happens? I'm commenting out certain codes which I don't like to test it at the moment. So these are a couple of useful ways when it comes to comments. Okay. And you can see throughout and once I am okay where I have to use this variable once again, I'll again uncomment it. Getting it? And you can see throughout my code, I have used white spaces. This helps in readability. To increase the readability of the code, you can always give the white spaces. Okay, so these are the couple of important things which would help during your coding. And it is a good practice to have comments during your code so that it becomes readable for others. What is the purpose of this block? What is the purpose of this variable? What is the purpose? Why are you declaring here? So you, if you write appropriate comments, it helps for you to read. It's not just for you. Let's say you give this code to somebody else. It is easy for them to understand the code and it improves the code quality. This is one of the important practice the programmers use during their coding exercise. Thank you for watching. Let's move on to our next video.